it was a sloppy game, but it got the job done. Eagles beat the Jets today, 31-6. to It was a very, very boring game, to say the least. It wasn't like anything crazy happened. It wasn't like, I mean, it was a blowout, in a sense. The Jets couldn't do anything. The only time they scored was because of a, um, the, the punt in the fourth quarter hit the foot of, I forget who it was, but some Eagles... Uh, corner that's been lifted from the practice squad due to injuries and then Corey Clement tried to get it he couldn't get it next play Jets score but all in all the defense played really well with all the injuries the defensive line stepped up a lot of guys got their first sacks Brandon Graham got his first three sacks Orlando Skandrick got um a strip sack returned that very same strip into a fum uh into a touchdown um Nate Gary picked six uh, Carson Wentz threw a touchdown to Ertz, and then, of course, you had uh, Jordan Howard scoring the very first touchdown of the game. The Eagles did not ever, they were not ever trailing in this game. It was good. It, it was a good game. Penalties need to be looked at, though. They need to stop happening. Penalties, uh, holding penalties and all that stuff. Hopefully, we can get healthier on defense so we can end up, you know, having... Darby back, Avante Maddox back, Sidney Jones at 100% because we got a tough road trip ahead. Playing Minnesota on the road, then Dallas on the road, and then we play Buffalo on the road, and then we come back home to play, I believe, the Bears or something? I don't remember, but we, for certainly, without a doubt, need to keep playing like this. Defensive line needs to keep getting these sacks. We got 10 sacks today. 10 sacks. We went from 3 to 13 in a span of 10 days, which is crazy. Offense needs to keep clicking, running first, using Jordan Howard. I like Miles Sanders, and I love Darren Sproles. You all know that. Darren Sproles left with a uh, quad injury. They didn't want to risk him getting hurt. Um, we got Corey Clement back there anyway, so you got depth at running back. But you need to run first with Howard. That's my... I, I, I like Miles Sanders. I really do. He reminds me of LaShawn McCoy, and he reminds me of a of a skinnier, maybe a little bit quicker Saquon Barkley because they both share some similarities in the way that they run, their vision, their shiftiness, their agility, the way that they bounce around and stuff like that. They they look very similar. And I mean, they both ran together in Penn State. But Jordan Howard is like our LeGarrette Blunt. You run him first. He's the guy that gets you going offensively with his running attack. The way that he runs, the way that he can carry a pile, the way that he can break tackles, make a negative yard gain into a three or four yard game and keep the momentum going. That's the biggest thing. And I think we need to keep rolling with him over Miles Sanders, him first, then Sanders. And then of course, passing wise, Wentz did really good. No interceptions, no turnovers offensively. The turnover was on special teams. So offense did its job, did very well. There were a couple times where it struggled due to penalties, due to lack of running the football and whatnot. We'll fix that. We'll sort that out as we move forward. But Carson did a good job today. Took a couple of hits, but those weren't really his fault. Some of them he might have held the ball for too long, yes. But at the end of the day, the offensive line needed to do his job. Sometimes it didn't. He took a couple of hits, but he was fine. Alshon Jeffrey stepped up, made a lot of good catches. Same with Dallas Goddard, especially with the drops that he was having a couple of weeks ago. Uh, coming back off of his injury, Nelson Aguilar had a couple catches, looked really good out there. Um, and overall, the team just really did well. We executed pretty well as, ex all all around except for the beginning of the second quarter. From like 15 minutes to 5 minutes in that second quarter. Those, those 10 minutes in the second quarter, we didn't really do too well. And then in the third quarter, fourth quarter, we didn't have to do much anyway. We just needed to burn down the clock, and we did. So we did what we had to do. We took care of business, 31-6, to good win. Kept the momentum going. We're above 500 again. Hopefully the Packers can beat the Cowboys. If they are, you know damn sure that I will be posting a video laughing in their faces. But if they don't, we just got to work with what we're – we just got to focus on what we can control, and that is winning our games. We play Minnesota and then Dallas. These are two games that I believe we can win, especially hopefully with returning Ronald Darby and Avante Maddox and everybody that's hurt – Hopefully people will come back, we'll be healthier, we'll be ready to go. But the momentum is definitely on our side right now. We got to keep it that way. Let me know what you guys thought of this game and I will see you guys later. Peace out.